Behind me is the Ikang Beach in Bakasi local government area of Southern Cross River State, where foodstuffs and commodities such as crayfish, fish and periwinkle are brought into the Ikang market. Now, just to my right here is the Ikang market, which serves as a hub for these commodities before they are being pushed to the capital city of Calabar and other parts of Nigeria. It is difficult to say exactly how much the Ikang market contributes to the Cross River State economy due to lack of statistics. However, there are between two to 3,000 people actively buying and selling directly with an even larger figure benefiting from the market. But traders do complain that the only access road in and out of the market is in such a condition that it affects business negatively. The road are very well, so well, well, even me. This market say we not feed sell our fish again. Because of that road, customer no feed come market again, then they complain about the road. See, since morning where we give this fish, there's no customer to buy the fish. That road is stopping us well, well. I beg, make, make government do that road for us. We don't tire for that road. Though. Our government no try. We have bad roads. I think that is Akpabo, you. We don't have road to pass. So market women, we they suffer like this for roads. We they suffer. Gallop. Last week, two weeks, pregnant, pregnant women because of gallop. The pregnancy is fall out. Please, government. Please, government. Please help us. Help us and do road for us. Even to go back to house, we have, we have not seen road to go back again. Please, government. In the name of God, please, we want to try to do road for us. Because this Akpaboyo, Akpaboyo is very bad for us. I beg. She affects our customers to come and buy markets here. Because that road is bad. We do not have market to sell. No customer for us, I beg. Please, government, please. Please, government, Ajale, please do road for us, I beg. We want uh, urgent, uh, res they should rescue us. Because imagine they should do, even if they can give us some uh, put some stones for the rescue the road is very bad so we need government to urgently they should do it immediately for us because we cannot we cannot we cannot our business is not working anything that we are doing nothing is working here but yet Bakas is he can we are generating re paying revenue to the government but yet all this we have been complaining we have been suffering from this road since since uh, it is working uh, seven years now, once the government promised that they will come and do the road, they are our Bakasi chairman. We, we have disturbed our Bakasi chairman, even the one of the uh, uh, of assembly, uh, Dr. Ekpo Ekpo, is promised us that they will come and do the road. It's still, still, then they don't want to come and do the road. We are paying money every day in this road. Uh, 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 for it to load motor like this, you have to spend 1,800 naira. 1,800 naira, junior will collect, police will collect, army will collect, and community will collect also. So let government just try and make the road to be okay for a, 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 a driver to drive very comfortable. Road, you see how the road is now. We are waiting for government to come and do. They cannot do anything for us. They will not provide us with food, but we need the road at least to bring out the incomes. To raise up, uh, raise up uh, revenue like uh, those tickets they call it in the camp and other things. We are buying tickets every day, but there is no essence of uh, this route. We are not enjoying. So it's very, I say it as a wickedness. Um, uh, last month, eh, we dropped, we did not go in. We collect 200 naira, uh, machine carry 300 to the camp. Now, right now, we are, there, we are collecting at times 500 naira because of the route. Uh, this road day so now me are not happy because people they fall there. Like last week, person fall, pregnant women fall there, and they pay the less of commerce. I don't know why. Maybe they come take make, uh, make uh, government come do the road for us. People they fall there, say some break legs, some break eight because of the bad road. So we need help from government from this uh Bakasi. Maybe they come see us for here because they don't work bad with you, they don't do us. So we're not happy for the road. It has been three weeks since the last rainfall and motorists tell me that it is the reason why they have been able to ply this road into Ikang. And just at this point, the motorists during the rainy season turn it into a temporary motor park along the Calabar-Ikang Federal Highway where the drop of passengers and 
commercial motorcyclists have to shuttle them all the way to either the Ikang market or the Ikang beach. Frank Edima is our correspondent from Bakasi and she gives another perspective to this temporary motor park. Edima, you are here in Bakasi and you use this temporary motor park several times. What, was, what were some of the challenges people faced? Most of the challenges we faced was that the stress of dropping off here and picking up a commercial cyclist Ikang was so much that a lot of people were discouraged from coming to Ikang any longer, especially on Fridays and Mondays, which are market days here in Ikang community. Uh, we, we also learned that uh, some of the drivers had to pretend to drop off uh, the passengers. Yes, of course. If, if you know that your vehicle is not in good shape, you wouldn't want to enter here because once you go in here, if, if your vehicle is not strong enough, you'll not be able to come out. So finally, so, so finally what is the feelers from uh, the residents around here to uh, all the relevant authorities? Well, they're um, complaining about the bad road and they're all praying for a miracle to happen. All right. Now, a few days ago, uh, the Honorable Minister for Power, Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, said that not all roads in Nigeria are bad. In fact, he stated that the roads in Nigeria are not as bad as many say. But here in every Edom community, just uh, close to where the Operation Delta Safe Sector 4 garrison checkpoint is, at the Calabar Ikang Federal Highway, there is about a hundred meter stretch of bad road where motorists are complaining bitterly and the residents are asking questions such as, did Fashola actually come down here by himself before going back to say that? And of course, when will the government come to their aid after crying for about two years now? For Crossover West TV, I am Jonathan Ugbal reporting.